Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this series, we are covering up our Google Maps add-on for WP Event Manager. Previously, we showed you how to configure or modify the Google Maps search from settings. And in this video, we're going to show you how to configure or modify Google Maps single page settings. So Google Maps single page settings, where they reflect, I'm glad you asked. Let's go to our front end site. From here, we're going to fire up an event. Let's open this event. So this is our standard event details page with our banner, title, our description box, organizer details and map at the bottom. So let's go to our settings section of event manager. So that's here. Now we're going to switch to our Google Maps single page settings. So in here we have six configurable options. First we have display maps. So by default it's always on. This checkbox over here shows the maps at the bottom of the event details page. So if we tick this off and save changes, then we need to reload this page and scroll down. We will see the Google Maps over here is gone, right? So let's come back here and toggle this on again. So as we toggle the settings over here back again, we'll see our maps is back over here. Then we have our maps width. So it's either you can define the map width by percentage or by pixel so by default is 100% so it covers up all the available area in this container over here then we have our default map height so that's 250 pixel by default you can always modify that as well let's say we want to show a bigger map let's say 400 pixel then below that we have our map type as always google's default four map types so those are road map satellite hybrid and terrain you can select the default map type over here then we have enable map scroll wheel control by default it's on so if we leave this on what's going to happen you see over here this map if we press control on our keyboard and use our scroll wheel in our mouse we will be able to zoom in or zoom out using the scroll wheel but if we tick check this off and save changes it's gonna disable the scrolling control over here by mouse instead we have to use this on screen buttons over here so i'm leaving this on as of now zoom level so this is our default zoom level for this map over here if we reload this we will able to see we are at default zoom level 5 but we can modify the zoom level accepted values for the zoom level can be found on this link if we open this in a new tab and scroll down a little bit so we will see the zoom level offered by google maps and their description so zoom level are not limited to these four numbers only you can choose in between as well so this is a bare minimum example so if we set one as a zoom level it will show the whole world type map as we see over here if we choose five it will show a continent on the zoom level or if we say 10 as a zoom level it will show the city and if we said 15 it will show the streets as a zoom label and if we said 20 it will go ahead and zoom even further to building levels right by default we have five so that means we are showing continents as we see over here let's set it to 10 as now for demonstration so we have modified our maps height and our zoom level so let's say changes We need to reload this page as we set the zoom level to 10 that means we are down to city level zoom so as you can see we have my city over here and our zoom level been changed automatically to 10 right and our map height got increased a bit as well so that's pretty much all the settings you can tweak on the single page settings. We have a custom override for these map templates as well. So that video will be published shortly in this channel as well. Feel free to check that out. But for this video, I'm afraid we come to an end. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, drop a like. A separate channel would be more amazing. I'm Sharad signing off. I'll catch you in the next one.